Hi everyone, it's Kim and I'm here with a project share um, and a, a card that I did um, this weekend. I am super, super excited about this. I really, really um, couldn't wait to show you guys what I have done. If any of you have been watching and seeing you know, my Goodwill hauls and stuff, I had purchased this um, container, well, it was like a recipe holder, I believe, at one time, um, received, had gotten this at uh, Goodwill, and it was all brown wood, let me see if I can, it, it looked like this, I, I didn't paint the bottom, because you're not going to see it anyway, but it was, um, you know, the brown wood, and it had, um, let me see if I can, I can't remember if I saved the pieces, well, I mean, I didn't save them, but see if I can get, <laughs> I'm digging through my trash can, sorry, or trash bag, but it had this on the front of it, you know, it was gathered, and then it had like a, a piece of lace on top, you know, and it, I tried cleaning it, and it was just, it would not really come clean. So what I did is I got to playing around last night and um, right now it's just sitting on this so it will raise up so you can see it a little bit better. But um, I got some paints out and was just kind of playing around and really, um, really didn't know what colors I was going to use. And then it's like all of a sudden it hit me. And so what I did is I... I did try to sand it just a tad bit, um, and I don't know if it helped or not, but, and then I, I did cover it with gesso, I, using my gesso, <clears throat> um, you know, that I finally found at Walmart, and then, um, I colored it with this pink, this is bubblegum pink Americana paint, and it was, it was like really, really bright. And so then I just had taken this uh, folk art. Um, it's like a cream color. I don't even think it says. Well, anyway, it's it's a uh, it's a cream color. And then I just kind of like whitewashed it. Is that what you call it? You know, and just kind of. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, I just did a little brushing here and there. And so I let that dry. Um, overnight because by the time I started working on it, it was really really late and then um, today after church while everybody was taking naps I come down here and I just started pulling some things and looking at everything and um, I just kind of like really still didn't know what direction I wanted to go and how I was gonna, you know, cover it or anything, but it then all of a sudden it, it just kind of hit, and I was looking around <clears throat> at, you know, the things that have been given to me, um, things that I had, you know, type thing, and what I did is the front piece here. It'll be easier to show you here. I took a piece of this paper, which. The paper um, I just received from Mel, Mel, scrap, Mel loves scrapping, and um, when I had won her, one of her giveaways, and, um, and had just received that this past week, so I put that, there was like these two rods, you know, that was holding that material, and I just, you know, glued it on there, and then... Um, the, the lace trim here that's on the top and the bottom is some of the, I'll show you, this was some of the lace that I just received, um, that Grandma brought back from my aunt down in West Virginia. So I used that, and then the heart, um, I don't know if you can see that, it's that heart trim, which I don't have. The extra right in front of me but um, hopefully you can see that okay the the heart trim there 
um, was what I received from um, Shalanda, the papers, the paper dolls crafts, and then um, I also used that like iridescent bead trim that she sent. Um, and let me turn it back around. Um, this um, like braided trim here, it's kind of sparkly. That is from Michaels. Um, uh, let's see. These flowers, this pink one, this one here, and then this like white one here is from Crafty Adriana. Adriana um, that she had sent, you know, all the all those oodles of flowers and this, you know, um, let me see if I can get this. This was just actually a, a like a tool flower, and what I did is I had taken little um, rosebuds that I had in my stash, um, pink, and then there are a few white ones, and just hot glued those in there and kind of made it like a, a bouquet and the leaves are um, rec recollections um, the stick pen and the little angel is from Stacy froggy green stamper and yeah so I you know glued all that down and then I had taken um, my little tiny alpha letters um, from uh, Studio G, and these rep you know represent the months. And this is what I am going to use for my um, birthday. It's like a birthday Rolodex for all my friends here um, on YouTube. And so these, oh, and I also, for the, you know, I made these little pockets, like, or what do you call them, like little envelope things. And then um, this little punch here, you know, is one of those hand tag punches and uh, label punches. I don't know what you call it. And then I just um, took my red sticky tape, you know, and made the little labels on there. And then um, I have these little lined pieces of paper, which actually <laughs> I had taken um, one of these mini composition books. I'd taken that all apart, um, and you know, you, you have your paper like this and then I cut it down to this. And what I did, basically, I think this is like a three or three and a half. Let me, uh, let me see, let me get my cutter here a second. And I can tell you, yeah, I cut it down, you know, I cut this off to measure three inches wide. And then I just cut the, top off here and since the bottom you know was rounded then I just took my uh, crop my crocodile my corner chomper and the half inch yeah the half inch and um, just rounded the um, <coughs> the corner there and so this way I can write you know the person's name um, birthday and maybe like their favorite colors or you know something that I know something about them just so that um, it'll help me remember um, you know as far as like sending something or a card you know when I go to make a card or something and um, I just put a few of the pieces of paper in there for now in each one and um, each one of the little file folders um, you know, or a different uh, color or whatever out of that stack of um, paper that, I'm sorry, the um, pad of paper that Mel sent me. And um, I think I used every 
every one but this page here because it was more of like a reddish color compared to all of the other pinks and brown um, combinations. So there is my um, little uh, creation I finally got to do. I am super, super excited about this. I love the idea that I was able to use several um, things that have been sent to me. I'm finally, you know, uh, getting to use those things. And I just, I, I really, really love it. Um, something that, you know, uh, just finally clicked for me and was so tickled to be able to get down here and create. So um, there is that. And then the other night um, I was playing around and I was trying to come up with um, just a card. And I think I'm going to actually use this one as a thank you to my aunt. Um, I This is a, I think it's a Sizzix die. Um, jar you know and this is a piece of vellum and then I just cut or not cut but I have a heart punch and um, used that the paper oh my goodness what paper pad did I use this off of um, actually okay I had to remember which one I used it's one of the ones that I got from Walmart a while back, the um, Autumn Flowers paper pad. And so I just used a little bit of this striped piece here. I used a piece of lace that was actually from my aunt. Some of the dew drops that I've colored you know, a long time ago. Um, put some twine and then the twine didn't quite work so I just added this um, like lace stuff. It, I think it's actually old and it's coming apart, whatever, but it, it worked there. A button, um, and this button, I believe, was out of the stuff that Shalanda had sent me. And then I just had this little tag, and, um, and then I just stamp, I have a stamp, you know, one of those, um, uh, Anita's stamps, you know, it's like one of those little dollar ones that you get at uh, the craft stores. And so I just did that and then colored, well I did um, edge, you know, ink the edges. And then I just did some faux stitching around there. I haven't put anything on the inside yet, but um, yeah, it's just playing around, and so, yeah, I, I really think that this is what I'm going to send to my aunt as a thank you. So, whoop. So, there is a couple of creations that I did this weekend, and I hope you like it. Um, I know that I am super excited about this. Um, I, I really can't believe <laughs> that i done it in, you know, just basically a matter of a a day, day and a half, you know, give or take because of, you know, it being so late last night with the painting, but i um, really, really excited about it, and I hope you like it as well, and um, let me know what you think, and um, I'm going to go for now, and we will talk to you all later. Love and hugs, and thanks for watching. Bye.